Unsweetened chocolate is one of the purest forms of chocolate that you can find at the supermarket. Other types have added sugar or dairy, but unsweetened chocolate is simply made from processed cacao beans. So it packs a powerful chocolate punch. And Jack's here to tell us which brand is best. No punching. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> yeah, so this is a really interesting taste test. As you know, generally we open the packages and we start eating. <laughs> I didn't do that here. So these are hot fudge sauces. Ooh. Um, they're very simple. You can start digging in. They have four ingredients, unsweetened chocolate, mm -hmm. sweetened condensed milk, a little bit of vanilla, and a pinch of salt. You want real fudgy flavor. Yeah. We use unsweetened chocolate in chocolate volcano cake, brownies. Really, when we want fudgy texture, along with big chocolate flavor, that's what we're doing. So as you're tasting, mm you're going to be tasting chocolate. <laughs> you know, they're all the same in some regards. Mm -hmm. All of these are 100% cacao. But because of the way that the cacao beans are sourced, fermented, and roasted, you can get different flavor profiles. And so some of these are more caramelly, roasted, espresso-y. Some are fruity, even a little acidic or sour. Some are what I would just call classic. So good news, none of them are terrible, actually, for me. Um, this one tasted pretty bland to me. I didn't like this version. Okay. This one was my favorite. It might have had a slight gritty texture. I'm not sure about that because I ate a lot of it. <laughs> but this one had caramely deep round notes that I really appreciated. This one had more flavor than the others, but I couldn't identify what that flavor was. Good news, you've done very well. Oh, I did? Okay. You picked the winner. Ah. Uh, this is Baker's. It's a 200 and almost 50 year old brand at this point. Very well known. Classic choice. It was top of the rankings because it had classic flavor. It's delicious unsweetened chocolate. All right. So this one was my runner up. So this Scharf is the Scharfenberger, which had the fruity notes, yeah. which either you loved or you didn't love, but it was different. And you noticed it was different mm -hmm. and you liked different. A lot of our tasters were like, oh, no, no, no. Just give me the <laughs> plain old boring regular chocolate. And that was the one where people were tasting citrus and banana. And it wasn't just me suggesting it. You were actually <laughs> it tasting it. It was in it. there. All right. Now, what about this one? I actually had very little to say about this one. It was just fine. Uh, so this was Ghirardelli. With the exception of the Scharfenberger, we ended up recommending all of them. That mm -hmm. The Scharfenberger was recommended with reservations. This one had more, I would say, of the roasted notes in it, and it was in the middle of the pack. Okay, and last but not least. Yeah, well, this was the guitar. This was a runner-up. The differences throughout, with perhaps the exception of the one at the end, are really very minimal between these brands. So there you have it. Our winning unsweetened chocolate is Baker's Unsweetened Baking Chocolate Bar, and it's about $3 for a four ounce bar. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.